Okay, we're gonna do this again. Okay. We're starting again. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. All right. Welcome back to Lady on the Street podcast. I'm your host, Priscilla, if you haven't been here before. And I just want to say that I do say this in every episode, but I really, really am excited about today's guest. Stop trying to read your intro, by the way. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Try to see what you wrote. No, You're like, kidding. um. <laughs> All right. So I did want to say that this is technically a milestone episode. It's episode five. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So our next guest is someone who reminds me what it means to be kind every single time I run into her. She's always laughing, loves her family, and is one of the best bakers that I've ever met. Yeah. After spending a handful of years raising her kids in South Carolina, where she launched a successful business refinishing antique furniture and introducing South Texas delicacies, a.k.a tacos mm -hmm. to anyone that she could. She's finally back home and on to a new type of project called That Southern Draw, where she sketches the shit out of some of the most iconic <laughs> spots here in San Antonio and all around South Texas. And as if that wasn't enough, she's doing this all while managing country living with cows, chickens, and goats to tend to. <laughs> the name is so fitting because you are a gem. Ruby, thank you so much for coming. Thank I'm really you. excited That's about nice. this. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I did want to say we do always start this with uh, a drink, right? Okay. Ruby, how do you live your life sober? <laughs> she asked for water, guys. <laughs> well, it's funny because a lot of people ask me that question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how other than the fact that I think I'm already weird. <laughs> and I can already like naturally just bring laughter to being in a situation yeah. that I'm like, if I were to drink, I don't even want to know what that would be like. So <laughs> we'll just leave that alone. Well, water it is, but I had to yes. give it at least a little like fancy feel. We've yeah, got no, some it is. cucumber lime water. Yeah. And uh we're gonna just do a little cheers. cheers. <laughs> Thank you for the water. And I mean, thank you for asking if I wanted anything else. But oh, of course. Water will do. No, you're good. You're holding me accountable because I, I never drink water. So <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. I have to really like tell myself drink water. <laughs> so uh, you just got back from New York City. You guys spent New Year's Eve there? Mm -hmm. All right. I it have... was not what I thought, honestly. <laughs> Did you have to wear a diaper? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but so, and we've always wanted to go. Like uh -huh. Edward and I have always been like, that would be so fun, like to go because we see it on TV, yeah. and like everything else, it's like so like fun, and you only see the fun stuff. You don't see the diapers, <laughs> you don't see the weird people. Yeah, um, yeah. I I got into like a verbal argument with the lady in front of the kids, and like everything went out the window. Like I haven't even talked to my mom to catch her up on everything yeah. that happened, so my mom doesn't even know like, what. <laughs> um, but yeah, because. They were only letting so many people, like in in my mind, on when I'm seeing it on TV, I'm thinking, oh, well, you just go down the street, and then everybody's in the street partying, and yeah. then you count down, and then confetti goes everywhere, and that's not the way it was. When we got down there, we had to stay on the other side of the barricades. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to see a barricade for the rest of my life. No, <laughs> no, because <laughs> we were so pumped up and excited. And then we get there and you have to be like blocks away from Times Square where the ball drops. The yes. only people that have access to go, you have to buy tickets with like over a thousand dollars and then you're able to go and be like right there enjoying all the festivities. Yeah. So we were on this side and then it started like, uh, you could have sworn you were like Black Friday, like people were yeah. pushing against each other and then they brought in a truck. And that made it worse. And then we had August. They brought in a truck. They brought in a truck to try to get them in. Okay. And then they didn't. Then yeah. they just parked it there and people got all rowdy and crazy. And so we were getting smushed and I was getting nervous because August was there. Yes. And um, August is seven. Seven. So we were like, keep him on the barricade. So it was chaos. It was chaos. We were squished. Grown men were pushing. Everybody was yelling. And for nothing, we were still like, at this point, we're like three hours away from midnight. So oh. we had to get out of there and get some fresh air. And so we weren't there for the countdown. We actually did the countdown at the hotel. Really? Yeah. And was that much more enjoyable, though? It was. I, I think seeing it on TV is way better. Yeah. 
than actually being I mean it's good to be in the environment but not if, if you're trying to be like Times Square in that moment for us it was a really really bad experience and then with the kids so then we were worried we were going to get crushed and yeah stampede everything it was just that's scary yeah it wasn't um, what we thought does it smell over there um, that's what people say every time I ask them about New York they're like it smells and on New Year's Eve they're like people wear diapers well there were people that were saying like yeah. that people were wearing diapers <laughs> and I so I didn't know about this until we were like oh, in really? it and I was like I am not wearing a diaper like we're not doing that no so yeah we were not gonna go that far we were like no but no, I guess, yeah, I guess it smells, you can smell urine, but I guess it's like any other party place. Like, you know, if you go to New Orleans and you're yes, kind of, yeah. I said New Orleans, I don't know. New but, yeah. 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 <laughs> what is it? New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yes. Nola. But it's okay. anyway, if you go there, you're going to have your Bourbon Street smell yeah. like pea area. So I think it's kind of the same. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then every once in a while you get a sniff of like coffee or a sweet smell and then the urine <laughs> and then it comes back. <laughs> and then it comes back. <laughs> That's where the alcohol helps because then you're just like, oh, I can't smell anything. <laughs> right, yes. uh, no, I smell everything. <laughs> yeah. I remember everything and I smell everything. So that's probably the downside of not being a drinker. That's I'm like, no, I remember what you did. <laughs> yeah. I'm the tracker. <laughs> She's there to remind you of, of all the things you thought you were going to forget. Yeah, if you forgot, where's your phone? Just call me. I'll tell you where you left it. <laughs> So. No, I was going to say, so if you're that far back and people are like pushing to get through, it reminds me of somebody on the road where they're like speeding past you and then you get stuck at the light. Well, like, yeah. where are you trying to go? That's, that's actually what started the argument with the lady, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> she was rude. She had, and she had a little kid. And so she, you were like, I'm right here. We're like two feet from the barricade where my husband and August and Arissa were. Yeah. And so she's like ramming through the crowd to get to I don't know where because the barricade is your stopping point. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, she's like, I need to get through. And I'm like, well, you can't. And she's like, you're telling me no? And I was like, yeah, I'm telling you no because where are you trying to go? Right. And so she was cursing and Arissa says she heard people saying like, hit her. Like, so I guess it was kind of rowdy, but in my mind, I was yeah. like, I've got it under control, but I didn't. I was losing it. <laughs> I was like, wait, they wanted okay. you to hit well, I, I hope. I hope it was the other way around. They were, they were on Ruby's team. They were on your team. Don't worry. <laughs> I hope because I was like trying to tell, where are you going? Yeah. So she picks her kid up and she's like, oh, watch me. And then she picks her kid up and I don't know, the kid was like five and puts the child over the barricade. And then she figured that was going to get her across. And oh. I'm like, you literally just put your kid in another area where it's not safe. Yes. And so it's. Did she, she did, stay there the whole night then? No, no. Okay. She, she ended up yeah. squishing her way to another area. But no, she never got over, which is what I was trying to tell her. But Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, so. I, even though it kind of sounds like it sucked being down there, I'm glad y'all had that experience. It's <laughs> well, It was only forget. for a moment. Yeah, it was still an experience. And it was only for a moment because, like I said, we left and then we went walking around. It was just right there where we were like, okay, we, we're not going to be able to enjoy all of that. Yeah. Well, so. I'm happy to report that she did not wear a diaper. She wore her good panties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke for another day. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about being back in Texas. Mm -hmm. You've been back for how long now? Um, since August, since officially. August. Yeah. Do you miss South Carolina? I do. Yeah? yeah. What do you miss about it? I miss, um, honestly, it just like the environment was really calm, which is where I am right now. It's the same thing. Right. But so I was in Charleston for 14 years. And so it was that long. Yeah, it was that long. That's crazy. Yeah. 14 years. I swear it felt, it feels like it was like five, six yeah. years. Arissa was three oh my and gosh. she's now a senior. That's crazy. So, yeah, a long, long time. Yeah. Um, but I enjoyed, so San Antonio, I was never out of San Antonio, yeah. right, until we left. Yes. Ever. Like, I had never left Texas. Um, so San Antonio's, like, fast-paced and, you know, the city life. So yeah. when I went over there, I enjoyed how calm it was. We lived on James Island, so it's very easy living. You know, it didn't feel very rushed at all. And so we enjoyed that. And then... Coming back, that's why we chose to live in Floresville because I just got used to the easy living and the quiet yeah. and the not 
so loud. But I mean, I do like going in the city all the time. It's just, yes. so I do miss that. The people were always really nice. Um, and honestly, I mean, that's what I miss about it. And the scenery, like it was so pretty. Like, oh, you could was. drive anywhere and there was water and, you know, so yeah, that, that was pretty. And all she has now are tumbleweeds and dirt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but there's no place like home. You know what I right. mean? There's no place like home. No. Like, we were just there when we went to New York. We stopped by in Charleston as well. Yeah. Oh, cool. And so Arissa got to see some friends. And we were only there for like a day and a half. Yeah. Um, we saw some, some of our friends and we were reminded of how pretty Charleston is. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's just nice to come home yeah. and be here in Texas. Yeah. Family is ultimately everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's more important. So. It's funny that you – so she came back from South Carolina and they – settled they're they're settling their roots in floresville of all places that's where i grew up yeah. so now when i go visit i'm like oh this is like it's just so nostalgic like, this is my me. town i'm like this is <laughs> what are you my, doing house. my house <laughs> yeah it's like uh, welcome yeah. to my my <laughs> own town <laughs> okay so can you tell me something what do you love or hate or love and hate about each location san antonio and charleston um so yeah, I hated the Mexican food. <laughs> in yeah, Charles, I bet it's probably not really Mexican food. <laughs> no, when we first moved there, like people in Charleston didn't even know what brisket was. So I smoked brisket, yeah, right. And mm -hmm. so um, we would invite friends over whenever I would do that, and they were like, I "Like how what? you say that just so calm." I I smoke brisket. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't smoke cigarettes. I smoke brisket. <laughs> I love that. You need that on a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, so we would invite friends over and they were like, what is brisket? And I was like, you don't know what brisket? So it's not, it's funny. It's a culture shock. When you yes. leave Texas, it's like it's literally its own thing. Like yeah. the, the, the food, I mean, everything about it is so different. And you don't realize that until you leave. And then you're the weird person in the other state saying, ordering fajitas. And they're like, what is that? Yeah. You know, so everything about it is different. Now that you mention it, I remember the, the one time we did go visit, we mm -hmm. went to a barbecue place and you were like, disclaimer, oh, yeah. the only ribs they have are pork ribs. Yep. They don't have, you know, beef. beef. Yeah. So, and yeah. That we is, love the cows here in Texas. I know. We're just like <laughs> mooing in our sleep, you know? Like beef. We don't yeah. snore. We moo. <laughs> no, yeah, but that's, that is crazy that you would never think because it's just... It's everywhere here, you yeah. know, in everything, like in the Mexican food, in the American food. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it is. It really is. Interesting. And, and I didn't realize how much I missed it till I was around so much pork. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> now, the, now that you're here, do you miss some of the food that was over there? Um, honestly, no, because I'm not a seafood person. Ah, uh, okay. So they, they're really good with seafood, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not like. Long John Silver's is like my seafood. Hey, I won't hate on it. The little crispies. Me, yeah, you give me Fred's fish and Long John Silver's. And I'm like, that's really good that seafood. seafood. <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. I love chef's kiss. Oh my God, I love it. But no, I'm not a seafood person. Okay. I'm not at all. <laughs> okay, so you said you hated the Mexican food. What did you love, you said, about Charleston? Just the people. The people. Yeah, the people. Yeah. It's okay. very easy. Everything feels like not rushed. No one's really in a hurry. Like, yeah. it's just very easy. So mm -hmm. I enjoyed that about it. And then being back here, what do you love and hate? Um, there's a lot of road rage. <laughs> yes. So when I'm in Floresville, like I said, that's like my new little safety zone. I yeah. love being there. I love the people. I love even going to H-E-B or the fast food. You know what I mean? Everybody's so sweet and so nice. And then once I get into San Antonio, I'm reminded that I'm not in Floresville anymore <laughs> yeah. because I'm getting honked at and people are throwing the finger. And I'm yeah. just like, oh, send me back. <laughs> so we've been gone 15 years because we yeah. spent one year in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. But um, so in 15 years, San Antonio has grown drastically. Yes. You know, so being here, driving and living and doing all the things that you do when you live here, I'm reminded of how much it's grown. Yeah. By, by like I said, the road rage, or if you go to HEB, or you need to just go do something real quick. It's like the amount of people, like it's yeah. just grown so much. Yeah. In, in just 15 years. It, so. it really has. Um, and I don't think it's stopping anytime yeah, soon. Yeah, it's not going to stop. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but okay. So, and that's your, that was your hate. I don't, you yeah, don't like I don't, the, how I don't busy like it that. is, essentially. Mm -hmm. 
What do you love about being back? Piece of family or? Yeah, I mean, fa being around family. Yeah. So, you know, people might take it for gra gra granted that you get to just like go visit a friend or go visit your mom, right. go visit your cousin and meet up for coffee. Um, all of those things, we didn't have any family in Charleston. Yeah. And so you miss those things. You yeah. miss the catching up and the get togethers and the dinners yeah. and the birthday celebrations. So being here, we celebrate a birthday, it feels like almost every weekend, but <laughs> yeah. I love it because yes. we were away for so long. Yeah. So I, I enjoy all of that. I enjoy having my brothers over for dinner and then, you know, it turns into a late night of just like laughing and doing stuff together. And I'm just like, I love, love, love that. So yeah. being here is family, it's friends, it's reminders of where I went to school, of where I grew up, everything. And so it's just such a comfort. Yeah. Honestly, it's just like my good pair of jeans, you know? Yes. So. Oh, I love that comparison. That's great. And we're like really happy to have you guys back. Obviously. Thank you. I know. You I know. see you so much now. <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. And uh, like in 14 years, we only went one time. I'm so sorry. I know. But you can go back again. I know. We have yeah. friends. You can go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you have any funny stories from your time in South Carolina? Any food stories or culture? You mentioned there was culture shock. So can you think of anything? Mm. Oh, gosh. I mean, we have stories. I don't I'm know. just putting you on the spot. I'm thinking. I mean, being there for so long, we have lots of yeah, stories. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was a lot of firsts for us. Like the first time going on a sailboat. Oh, yeah. The first time you know, trying or making attempts to eat seafood. There yeah. is a lot of first in Charleston, but um, our kids grew up there, you know. Yeah. Um, our son graduated mm -hmm. from there. So um, definitely lots of memories and stories. Off the back, I mean, I know I have them. I just can't think of no, any right now. When we um, did go visit, um, something happened to Andy and I. Where we were, because we drove, how far was it? It was like 18 hours or something? Yeah, it's like 18 and a half hours. So I know you guys would make the drive like one shot. We used to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, we could not do that. I think we yeah. stopped in Florida on our way up. And when we were eating at a restaurant, him, he and I were like, oh, let's have a beer, right? So we order a beer and we ask the, the server, I'm like, oh, can I get a Dos Equis dressed? And she's like, what's dressed mean and mm -hmm. i was like oh with salt and lime you know like beer salt and she's looking at me like what <laughs> and so we're like explaining to her i'm like you get the lime you yeah, rub it on you. the yeah i was like you rub <laughs> it on the neck of the bottle you put the salt she goes and then you lick the bottle really yeah and she was like disgusted and andy and i were like you just no. shamed me <laughs> yeah we were like no we don't do that <laughs> She, yeah, they were so like shocked. See, by I what wouldn't we're know that about. because I'm not a drinker. Not a I wouldn't drinker. know that there's differences in drinks. But I, yeah, not well, that we you're didn't saying either. That, yeah, probably, we were like, you're like wiping it off. Like, <laughs> I was like, do we lick it or not? Like, <laughs> yeah, but we'll never forget. They have that. people in the back looking like, what are they going to do with yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> they were like so disgusted by us. Yeah, she was like, you lick the bottle, really? Like, no, of course not. Yeah, no. are we monsters? <laughs> No, I mean, like I said, I we have a lot of stories. I'm trying to think quickly, like what was, you know, something that stood out to me. Um, I mean, I know I mentioned like you would make people tacos or when you oh, would well, make them brisket, a, there what was there? One. Yeah. Yeah. So like I mentioned, food was different and the kids actually, Arissa and Aiden were like the only Mexican American kids at their school. Mm -hmm. um, by the time we moved, there was obviously more yeah. diversity. But when we first got there, we were like the only Mexicans anybody yeah. knew. Like if you met us, you're like, oh, I know who you're talking about. Yep, the Garcias. <laughs> I'm serious. And so for, I think it was fifth grade, Aiden wanted um, for me to make tamales for his class. They were learning about spanish and everything and so he was like mom can you make tamales and i was like yeah I'll, I'll make them and so um aiden always remembers this but i made them i took them to class and i was there and i'm like handing them out and the kids are all like what is this <laughs> um and so 
uh, Aiden thought it was so funny because the kids picked up the malas and they just started like biting them what and the they're like pulling at them and Aiden was giggling and he was like that's not how you eat it <laughs> and they were like well, how do you eat it yeah. we just assumed they would know how to eat it and that's no funny, they didn't yeah. they literally went and started <laughs> chomping down on the tamale and Aiden was like no you take it off that's After hilarious they found what was inside then yes they liked them okay um, but no I, I would say most of the teachers of the kids probably got introduced to a lot of things. Like mm -hmm. I would make uh, Mexican sugar cookies like yeah. every year when Aiden was in band. Uh -huh. um, and so that was a thing. So, yeah, I mean, they I, I left a lot of little memories there. And hopefully yeah. those people remember the first time they ate the malas. I love that. Oh, my <laughs> but, goodness. Um, yeah, I was constantly telling people I was from Texas and constantly like cooking for people and trying yeah. to just bring that to them. That's just me it's right? just you so but food really does like bring people together it so does. yeah that's that's funny yeah. i yeah. i hope that they remember <laughs> that, like biting into it the now they'll like that. know how to eat it exactly so. <laughs> they're gonna go home and shame their their family yeah. for not knowing how right <laughs> okay so i wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you recently launched that mm -hmm. southern draw mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about first of all i didn't know that you were such an artist <laughs> like and now it makes sense because let me tell you really quickly, we we went to her house for a pumpkin carving contest. <laughs> and like here we are with our triangles and like our little paper sketch the stencils, you know, mine's like getting all soggy and tearing. <laughs> her family's like doing the shaving. It was like Halloween wars over there. They're very creative and artistic. So it makes sense that you okay. also know how to like draw and all of that, but how did you decide to get into that? Um I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of random because, um, I mean, I had, like you said, I did furniture for eight years in Charleston. Mm -hmm. So my plan, we were in Louisiana for a year and then I was working for Boeing at NASA there. Mm -hmm. And so the plan was when we moved back to Texas, I was going to pick up doing furniture again. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I tried doing it and it was just a challenge because, um, I did love, that was another thing about Charleston is the history there like you could go to any i love going to thrift stores and yeah. goodwill so you could go to any garage sale thrift store goodwill and you would find these beautiful pieces for like 25 dollars. yeah so it made my job easy when yes. i had to refinish furniture there was just so many and so when i moved here that was not the case yeah and i'm like i wasn't finding good stuff not that it's not there it's just that there's it's a bigger city yes so everyone is kind of fighting to get the good piece to flip it to do all that so i had more of a challenge doing it and so um i've always liked drawing and so i remember telling edward and this was just a few months ago and i was like i think i want to draw and so i'm going to draw like landmarks i'm going to draw like buildings and stores anything that's local and I'm going to put it like on a greeting card and I think people will buy it. And Edward was like, that's what you're going to do. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, like, I think it'll work. Like I have it in my head. And most of the time you can ask my mom or anybody, like, mm -hmm. I'll be like in, in my head, it, it works. I yes. just can't like show you that it'll work. And right. so, um, thankfully Edward was supportive. My entire family has honestly been supportive. The kids, my mom, my dad, everybody. And so um, that's how it started. I was just kind of like, let me show you what I'm talking about. And so I would draw some stuff and show them. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And then being in Floresville, there was just so much for me to soak in of what was around me. Yeah. Like, you know, the buildings and the history and the architecture. And so I was taking all that in. And it literally just turned into what it is now like so quickly but i'm so i'm like so excited about it but yeah um that's that wasn't the plan yeah to do that it was kind of just like oh it'll be a hobby like i'll just do it on the side while i'm doing something else and it's full time it's like i'm up at 3 a.m drawing oh my gosh and it's like all i think about like i draw every day every day i draw oh. might not finish it but i draw every day that's so, are you freehanding it yeah, so I draw everything, and with the help of technology, I'm yes. able to scan that, and then I'm digitally, I'm able to edit everything. Yeah. So that helps me when I do custom commission work. Yes. So anything, obviously, if I'm just painting it, I can't make edits. I can't make no, changes. Right. But this allows me to do that. Yeah. And it works so well 
for people when they have very specific things that yes. they want me to do. And so it allows me to do that. Well, it's so it's so pretty. Um, and I like the whole like Christmas card vibe or just yes. greeting card, I should say. Um, but you're doing it on totes now. And what yeah. else are you offering Again, it in on? my head? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in my head, there's so many things pre you should yes. come visit my store. <laughs> it's already <laughs> it's yeah. <in> here. <laughs> No. Uh, so yeah, the totes, I figured I would do something that was useful, but also to show, you know, again, the art Yeah. and the art um, highlights all of the local places. And so Texas, you can go anywhere, right? And you'll know like, yes, Texas is everywhere. Anything that has Texas on it, people love. And I know because when I was far away from home, my mom would give me anything from Whataburger or H-E-B or Bill Miller's. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's home. You know, yes. it's like comfort. Yeah. Um, and so I just want to be able to do the same thing, but to do that for the cities and the towns that make up Texas. Yeah. So it's not just Texas. It's everything that makes up Texas. Yeah. And there's so many towns. Like you could mm -hmm. take a drive in a day and then you'll visit another place and they have their own story and their yeah. own history and their own church and their own, you know, everything. Yes. And so I, I love that. You can just take a day drive in a different direction and learn about something entirely new. It's so, so the totes is great those do really good i did some t-shirts those yeah. did really well i would like to do um wrapping paper I oh wrapping that'd paper be cool. would be cute yeah. candles. candles i think candles would be really I cute tea towels would be cute too maybe yes tea, tea towels. towels anything that is um unique and custom that yeah. you can gift to someone who's away from home yeah that might be homesick Oh, you know, that's just sweet. like a little comfort oh so i really like i do that. have to give you something so i oh. had andy bring it in here and so I did this for you. Oh my gosh, Ruby, stop it. <laughs> I hope you like it. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> you guys, that I is. I hope you the... like it. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I have to get like a. Stop it. You're so good. Because at every this. time I see you posting photos, like uh -huh. you wear the. I wish I could wear white boots and I can't. And yes, so I was could. like, I'm going to go. And look, and I was looking through your pictures, and I'm like, she. I think she loves her white boots, so I I'm do. gonna draw her in her white boots. This and so is, I just figured that's something, you know, oh for your my new God. journey. This is so cool. <laughs> you are so talented. Thank you. I Thank swear. You. I'm glad you like it. I want to hug it. Like, oh, <laughs> I do love the white boots. And you know what's funny is, um, I had a little hater the other day. I was wearing them oh, no. somewhere, and someone said, "Oh, you're a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader," and I was like, "Really? Yeah, someone said I that am. to you?" Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, I am," but I'm like, "So Jesus, rude!" I'm like a hater. But you could wear white boots. Why can't no. you wear white boots? Because <laughs> my legs are this long. That's why. Oh my god! I mean, I could wear like little white boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could. Yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. I'm glad you like it. It's funny because I know the the outfit. You know what yes, I mean? I'm I, like. Oh, well, this is a picture from of you I went, with your sister. I went to see yes. Grupo Frontera. I, yeah, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I love so jealous. this. You're so sweet. You didn't have to do that. No, I, I had told it. Andy. Um, I was like, Andy, can you go and take a picture of the details on her boot? Because I can't see them in the picture. Oh, and I wanted to yeah, see the yeah. little details. Yes. And so he went and took a picture. So Andy knew I had Aww. done this. And he had seen it. And I was like, do you approve? Do you think she'll like it? And he said yes. I said, yes. okay. Yes. So I, I feel like I wear those white boots too much. Almost, no. But I mean, they're just like, my favorite thing. Yes. And wear so, them. <laughs> somebody will tell me to like, um, they'll say, I don't, I want to wear white boots. But I don't know what to match it with. And I'm like, I wear it with everything. Yeah, I was going to say, they probably go with everything. Yeah, that's so, how I feel. I mean, I wear boots with everything. Yeah. But the white ones, I'm just like, every time I see them, they're like this tall. And Well, you know what's funny it. is that, I'm going to set it right here. I love this. Thank you You're so much. Um, the white boots are funny because they started from an Instagram ad. There was an Instagram ad for, I think it's Lucasi, is how you say that? Mm -hmm. Lucasi boots called the Priscilla boot. Really? They were these tall, white cowboy boots. And I was like, I'm going to buy these. <laughs> right? So I go and look. I'm like, obviously, it's an Instagram man. They were $1,000 boots. <gasps> yeah. No way. $1,000 boots. And I'm like, Instagram, you think I'm rich? Like, I can't buy these. So <laughs> I went and found a dupe and I wear them religiously. No. And yeah. that's kind of like, so I have, if you've seen my pictures, mm -hmm. one of my early pictures is of turquoise boots. Yes. And uh -huh. so that's because I would love a pair of vintage turquoise boots. Yes. And I can never find the I mean, the chances. Like right. they're vintage, they're yes. turquoise. Yeah. They have to be short, not yeah. tall boots, and they have to be my size. So yeah. I'm 
still looking for them. But I was like, in the meantime, I'll just draw a cute picture of them and I'll have them. Oh, obviously. yes, so, yes. Yeah. Well, that's I'll fine. keep my eyes Yeah, if you ever you. see a pair, let me know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that, that was really nice. Yeah, Thank you're welcome. You. I can't get over it. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I was talking about now. Oh, my gosh. Um, we were talking about the landmarks. Yes, yes. Yeah. So she's offering all of these different things. Um, you have an Instagram page, but we'll, we'll uh, plug it in a little bit. But um, I was going to say that, so you've drawn iconic spots. You've drawn the Pearl. Mm -hmm. You've drawn like the floor. I don't know if, you, if you've ever been to Floresville. Um, they have a really beautiful courthouse, right? You drew yeah. their courthouse? Yes. Um, you drew the peanut too, the, right? The peanut. Yeah. Um, and I added a little cowboy hat and then for so Christmas, cute. I made it a little Santa. Yeah. That was Augustine's idea. <laughs> um, yeah. And then there's Maverick Grill. There's yes. um, B Mercantile, which, um, so the, the, the woman who owns B Mercantile, mm -hmm. she has a lot of local artisans okay. that sell a lot of their items in there. So I drew her building. Oh, I love and it. And you'll find my stuff in there as well. Oh. But yeah, I'm just like, like I said, there's so many places in Floresville that yes. I'm, I'm still working my way through. I'm still kind of doing different places. Um, and it's just really, it's kind of like nostalgia, right? Like yeah. when people see it, they're like, oh yeah, I remember this place. Or, yeah. you know, so, and that's the connection with people that I just... I love more than yes. anything when I do events, you'll see me talking to people and I truly genuinely love like hearing people's stories and their stories with that building or that restaurant yes. or that location. Same. Yeah. And so I'm just like, I would have never known that had, yeah. we, had I not drawn that, had we not had this conversation. So it's just knowing people and their stories. And so that's really the connection that I, I like. I love it. So. Um, that's exactly like why I like doing this too. Yeah. So just like, I just like talking to yeah. everybody. <laughs> well, me too. Right? I'm like, it's like, um, it's good. I can and come back Vatican's, tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to just be the new co-host. <laughs> no, um, I, I love that. I can't wait to see how it takes off. And I feel like you are a very bright person with big ideas. So I can't oh, wait to see you. what you do with that because you're, you're thriving already. In it. I'm like so excited. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I, I can't wait to, to see what happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of going with the flow because I didn't expect it to do what it's doing right now. Yeah. And so it's exciting. I know? love it. I think some of the best ideas um, happen when you're least expecting them. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you're just doing it as a hobby and it's turning, it's growing. So yeah. oh, that's great. Um, I wanted to mention too, um, well, I guess before we move on, do you have a drawing that you would say is your favorite so far? Hmm. Probably my mom's house, and I haven't I haven't posted that one yet because yeah. we're still in transition with everything. Yeah. But I drew my mom's house before it was taken down, oh, and yeah. so I drew that one and I shared it with my brothers um, and my parents, and yeah. so everyone, all of us have, have you know, yeah. where I sent it out. Um, and so the idea is when the new house is complete and ready for them to move in. I'm also going to draw that one so yeah. my mom and dad can have the comparison. Ugh. But that's probably the most meaningful one that yes. I've done so far just because it was special to my mom. Yes. And so uh, so that's probably my favorite. Yeah. D is there a timeline on when they're supposed to get back in? Um, any day now, any honestly. Day now. I think they are. they're just waiting for the city to go and check the gas. And once that's done, then my parents can move. I mean, there's water, there's light. Everything yeah. is, is ready. So. I can't wait to see um what it's going to be now because yeah. you know before i know how special that place was to you all um yeah. and it's been what like two years since two years two years since her mom's her childhood home really um burnt burnt down and yeah uh i know that it's been a struggle and uh y'all been really like pitching in and helping to really take care of your parents and i that's yeah. one thing that i love about being with you guys is that the family aspect is always so present, you know? Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just know how special that was and, and the picture, I can understand why that's so meaningful. Yeah, because it's no longer like, you yeah. know, it was weird for us to see it. And then when they demolished it to get the rebuild going, yeah, we were like, oh my gosh, it's like literally gone. Yeah. And you know, my dad did the break yes. and so everything was special about it. But yeah, that's why I said, I think that one is probably my most special yeah. one. So. <sighs> Well, I'm glad to hear that um, it, everything is going to move forward for your parents and yeah. for you guys too. I mean, the, the, I don't want to get too off topic, but didn't you build that space 
Or didn't you build something at your house for that area or are you just using for it the now furniture? For the furniture? Yeah. Oh, yes. So we got the shop again because in my mind I was like, I've done this for eight years. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I know what I'm doing. And, yeah. you know, so a lot of family and friends already knew what I did um, over there. So I was like bringing it here. I think it would be great. And so we moved forward with getting the same a little bit bigger shop than the one that we had in Charleston. Yeah. So just the, you know, the metal shops that you get put up, that was my, my area of work back at home in Charleston. Mm -hmm. That was where I worked and I did all my furniture. Um, and so that, again, that was the plan when we moved here. And so we got the shop up and everything and then <laughs> it didn't work out. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously we could use the shop for so many other things. Right. Yes. But um, yeah, so it's just weird how it didn't, go as planned yeah. and then everything turned into something else but you so pivoted now, and you're, you're yeah so now yeah. i'm like when we're folding cards and i have literally like i said my mom my dad everybody joins in on doing that like the kitchen table is kind of our office so yeah i'm still going to need an office at some point yes. or a studio or something to work out of um so it's just not going to be the shop over yeah there. <laughs> yeah but you're my my personal little selena quintanilla because you have like your own <laughs> little farm going over there every time i go over there i'm like she's like selena you know the no. the movie when she's like i just want a farm Chris. but i have i've always <laughs> wanted to have like she's even like, in charleston yeah so in charleston i had the two goats. Yeah. I had chickens. Yeah. Um, and then August got allergies, so we got rid of the chickens. Oh, no. And then before we moved um, to Louisiana, we had to sell my two my two goats. Yeah. Um, and they were Texan Charles. And oh, so my gosh. I loved the goats. Yeah. They were awesome. Um, but yeah, so I always wanted to do that. So that's why when we were coming back, I was like, we need to buy land. Yeah. So that I can have all the animals yeah. I want. And so at this point, I think we have, so we have the hedgehog. And then yeah, we, we oh, had yes. two, oh but gosh. one went missing. So we have one hedgehog What's his now. name? Uh, Knuckles. Knuckles. Okay. Yes. It was Sonic and Knuckles. I was going to say, you didn't yes. have Sonic. Okay. Yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we only have Knuckles. And then, um, so we just got a little piggy, and his name is Cash for Johnny Cash, because he's all black. Oh, so he's all dressed for so cute. <laughs> the oh. event. And so um, he's only several weeks, I I'm guessing like 10, maybe 12 weeks now. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's like this big. And I've always wanted a piglet so I can like, carry it. And so <laughs> I can hear it squeal. And, and my mom bought it a little sweater today. Oh. So he had a little sweater. <laughs> and as I was putting his little arm in, he was like, no. Oh. Like I swear he said the word no. <laughs> so She's um, like, he's currently enrolled in school. <laughs> We're teaching him English. <laughs> uh, we've taken him a bath. Like he's just, he's oh, super sweet. cute. Um, but he, he hangs out with the chickens in the chicken house because he's still yes. really little. Uh -huh. And so, and then we have Dolly or Dolly Parton, yes. of course. And she, her and Willie, uh, Willie's a goat. And my brother Mark and Claudia, yes. his sister-in-law, um, gave them to us as a housewarming gift. So that's gave how you, you know you live in the country when you get farm animals. They gave you a, as a housewarming <laughs> gift because they do have always like that was that's like what you want. Yeah, I yeah. want that. Um, and we have chickens, and then we have dogs, and so. then the dolly is that extra special chicken, right? Like, what is the oh what the are silky? That's butter. A, oh, butter. Yes, and I've drawn butter. So if you are familiar with my art. And you see, because she's super yeah. popular. I always sell her cards. Yeah. Um, it's the pink silky chicken. Yeah. And that I drew that one after butter, my silky. Oh and my and I, I have um, one of the girls at the post market. She was like, you should bring your chicken. And I was like, that's such a good idea because people bring their dogs everywhere. Yeah. So why not bring my chicken? So I don't know. You might see me out there with my cards and then I'll have my little your chicken. Little chicken? Yeah, she'll oh. be signing autographs. Oh my God. Just a little like yeah. stamp. <laughs> stamp of approval. Yes. Like this. Oh my god. <laughs> You're um, so good. I love it. No, so yeah. So I and, and then we have the the cattle, you know. Um we have eleven. Eleven cows. Like I said, my but. own personal Selena. <laughs> with no disrespect, but every time yeah, that that's the part that plays in my head. Do you don't know the part I'm talking yes, about? Yeah, no, I do. Oh, okay, I do. Okay. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. I'm like, I wish. But yeah. No, I <laughs> yes. And no. I say my own, like if you belong to me, but you know. I'm yours. <laughs> Okay, so we talked about, you know, moving, your career a little bit, kids and marriage, right? Mm, okay. <laughs> Her <laughs> eyes, <Mom>. ooh. <laughs> what are you going to ask? I know. I mean, I don't know. No. So kids, you've got three kids, mm -hmm. and you're similar to me in that 
we have an age gap. Yes. Um, what is the age gap between? 10 or, years. 10, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I think I'm actually, I think 11, closer to 11, but. Okay, um, you win. I win, I know, it's not a competition. <laughs> okay, but, you win, um, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> Just to set the record straight, I got win it. 11 years. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, did you, I guess, did you guys know you always wanted a third one? We did. Yeah. Yeah, so we did want, but it was kind of always like, okay, well, we'll talk about it then, or we'll see right. what happens. And before you know it, another year went by, another year went by. And right. we were so happy with just Arissa and Aiden. Like, yeah. you know, our life with them was fine. So it didn't really feel like we were missing anything. And so we were okay just kind of going through the rhythm. Yeah. And then, um, like I said, we were kind of just like, well, one more, one more, one more. And then when it happened, we were like, oh, 10 years. It's like starting all over again. Yes. Um, and I know everybody says that, but like the car seats were different. The yeah. strollers were fancier. <laughs> yes. Like the clothes was cuter. And I was like, uh -huh. oh, this is so fun. Yeah. And so I think because um, there was such a big gap, I really got to like relish in all of the baby things more yes. than I did with um, Arissa and Aiden. Yeah. Because I was like, this is different. I'm kind of, yeah. you know, I'm older now. That's so. the biggest thing that I think we noticed too is that when we had our first, our first daughter, we were still kids, yeah. you know? And so like 10 years went by, we matured, we grew up, we had careers, and it's like, wow, we really got to, not that we didn't raise her, we we raised her and gave her everything we could, but like we just noticed those differences that something that was such a struggle when she was little, being an adult, yeah, you know, like an actual adult, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit easier, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's crazy, yeah. And it's like you almost get to enjoy it a little bit more because you don't have that constant stress i guess yeah no because it, it's true because like i said i was doing furniture and i was literally doing furniture like my mom has pictures of me like literally nine months pregnant i remember that furniture. yeah like i was still working i was still active yes but i did get to enjoy it because after i had him i was like you know when you're younger and you're a young mom you're like i gotta work i gotta do you know yes everything that you know you have to do and when you get older you kind of Take a deep breath and you're mm -hmm. like, okay, I could enjoy this for a little bit. You know, yeah. like I don't have to be in such a hurry. Yes. So that was the difference with August and, and the big difference of age, like yeah. you know, 10 years. That's a lot. It is a lot. Um, but it's not 11. <laughs> just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Well, I'm going to wait till it's 11 <laughs> after August and then I'm going to have, no, I'll Another wait 12 one. after August and then I'll have a baby. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and then we can sit down again. You'll sit down again if she's yeah. going to be like 12 is the magic 12. number. <laughs> Take oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to never let that go. So, <laughs> so I guess now that your kids are a little bit older, well, I mean, one is a full grown adult now. Completely in every aspect. Yeah, that I know it to be. Yes. Yeah. What What is that like? Like navigating them at that age? Because they're what? How old is Aiden? So Aiden is the oldest, and Aiden is twenty. Twenty. And mm -hmm. Aiden um, just got married, and mm -hmm. that's the reason we were in New York. Yes. Because he was he's moving, or he moved to Boston, Massachusetts, to yeah. be with his new wife, and so we followed him up there, and then we just made a trip of it. So Aiden's twenty. Um, Arissa is 17. She's about to be 18. Yeah. And then August is seven. So yeah, big, big difference. How was that for you? I guess, how was it? We don't have to get into the whole marriage thing, but the drive to leave him in Boston. It's hard. I mean, even the marriage thing, like, I mean, you know, cause you were there. Um, it was a shock. Um, but because Edward and I have done so much better like in our walk in faith yeah i would say in the last two years it honestly was a good thing because it set us up for all the things that are to come ahead of us yeah. and this was one of them that we yeah. did not know so if it wasn't for my faith i would be like crying every day you yeah. know because i'd be like oh my baby you know yeah. what i mean but i've learned that it's healthy for your kids to like go off and do their own thing i mean you know that's just the mom in me is like oh like i said you know, I'm like, they're all three of my babies, like exactly. forever. Um, but it, again, I've understood that yeah. a healthy mother-son, mother-daughter relationship is that they have to go at one point. Yeah. I just feel like it's happening 
like really fast because like Aiden left yeah. and then Arissa's getting ready to go to college yeah. and get ready for college this summer. So then I'm losing her. Yes. And so um, it emotionally it's, it's um, you know, like it's yeah. tough because I'm just like, we finally are back in Texas. And in my mind, a, you know, perfect picture was coming back and we would all be together. Yeah. Um, and that was not God's plan. Yeah. You know? So mm -hmm. that's, it's different, but I look at it like we've gained a new family member. Yeah. Angelina is now part of the family. Yeah. And so our family is growing. Yeah. And that's a blessing. That is. So I'm just like, okay, you know, yeah. let's just look at it in that way and it'll continue to grow. And I'm excited always for the kids to go off and see what they do with their life and what they create. Yes. And then that's, you know, as a parent, you never know if you do a good job or not. Yeah. So um, we, we, every time they do great, we're like, ah. Oh, Okay, good, you know? Yeah. So. I mean, well, I think it's hard for you to see, like, because you're the one in it. But from the outside looking in, I I can see and everyone else can see that you guys have laid a really solid foundation for them. And oh. so wherever they take it from, I mean, and I'm not just saying this. I think I've always told you, like, I, if if Bailey would grow up to be like Arissa, um, in in the way she carries herself, the way she is with others, like I would feel like I did a good job if I could Aww, model that. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's true though. I think that um, just watching you guys over the years and and seeing how y'all respond to things, like I I learn from y'all, and um, I think I mean not that my word carries a lot of weight or anything, but I think y'all are no, really solid parents with really good kids. So thank you. That means a yeah. lot. I mean, I'm I can honestly say I'm proud of the people that they are. Like in general, like. Yeah you know, I'm, what, what else could I ask for? Like they're yeah. good human beings when they're not around me and I'm happy with that. Yeah. Um, so as a mom, any mom, you yeah. know, you just want to know your kids are doing good things when they're not around you and around other people. And yeah, that's all I can ask for honestly. Same. I always tell Bailey, I'm like, just make good choices. I, yeah. I literally will tell her that like almost every other day. And she's like, I know mom, <laughs> you know, <laughs> You told me yesterday. <laughs> so marriage. How long have you and Edward been married? Um, versus together, because that's thirteen years married. married. But you know, we did things the opposite. Like we had the kids, and then we got married. Same. Yes. Yeah. So you know, it's fun. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, you are still going to give me a wedding. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I, I mean, I waited. I waited a long time for that wedding, but me it was too. it was worth it. I was like, I'm yes. not willing to give that up. Like, no. I still want that. Um, it was beautiful, by the way. Yeah, obviously. thank you. So it was oh. yours with the lap dance and everything. Oh my I mean, god, not for me. That. <laughs> that was that was all him. I do. Uh, let me just still apologize because in your wedding pictures, I don't know what I was thinking, but you had a really classy look going on with the long dresses for your bridesmaids. Yeah, they're like orange. Yeah, color. but who went and cut their dress super short? <laughs> Do you remember that? So it, I, it all, I looking at the pictures like you can't even tell any difference at all. Like everyone's style was different. You wouldn't have known the dress wasn't short. Like you wouldn't have known. Well, I know, <laughs> and I see it now, and I'm like, well, who let me do that? You should have told me no. Yeah, everybody had like long gowns on, and for some reason, I was like, let me cut mine above my knee. You're like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm not Davis. I'm gonna put white boots on. <laughs> They should have, basically, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. so married 13 years. You, you guys met in high school. Is your brother's friend, right? Yes, my okay. brother's best friend. Yeah. But the good thing is they're still best they're friends still, yes. today. Yes. They just, we had a little rough patch yeah. there. That's but okay. Yes, 25 years ago, Yeah. we started to like each other. Yeah. And then that turned into like a secret relationship Ooh. that nobody knew about. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, <secret. laughs> That's after 12. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. And we were like in secret, you know, we would leave notes for each other in the restroom. That's how we would communicate how cute. because there was no cell phone. There yeah. was no way of talking. Um, so whenever he'd go to the house, you know, we would communicate by leaving notes under the hamper in the restroom. Oh, so we went gosh. to the restroom a lot. <laughs> 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 like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> They're like, what did you eat? You're yeah. like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. and, there, and I still have one letter, only one letter, 
like that I have saved yeah. from all those times. And it was just like silly stuff. Like I got a haircut. Do you like my hair? Yes. Like, you know, yeah. stuff like that. I have, I think I have a box. I don't think I know. I have a box full of Andy's letters. I had a box full of like all my love letters because, because <laughs> everybody loved me. Just kidding. No, I had a box full of like all these letters. And I remember when we like, I think it was when we were moving from our first apartment to like when we bought our first house mm -hmm. and he's like, you're not bringing those other letters like with you. And I'm like, you're like oh. well, can I just read them? One I, know. I, was like, I just want to see all the good things people were saying. So love. <laughs> yeah. I think I threw them all out, but I do have all of his stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, funny. I didn't keep other love letters. <laughs> <laughs> I only kept that one because um, <laughs> I saved them through forever when we yeah. dated. I had a book and then I lost that book. And um, that book had like, you know, when you're young, you go to the movies and you save the movies. Yes, the stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I would like save everything. So the only thing that made it from all of that was that one letter yeah. from the hamper. I'm so. pretty sure I have like a crusty, dusty flower in there. <laughs> like, I, yeah, it's very uh, cringe as about, Bailey would yes, call it. Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> like, and the one that asked the most questions about when we were dating is Arissa. Like Arissa's constantly oh, yeah. <laughs> asking questions like, and what did dad do with this? And where did y'all go here? Yeah. And then I have to be careful how I answer because because now she's older and she's yes. like, did you sneak out? Did you do? And well, I'm she like, quizzed oh. me and did I was, she, yeah, she, and I was, I think she I should be doing you. a podcast because she loves <laughs> asking people questions. Oh yeah, she sure should. I know. Yeah. And I was like, Ruby, I can I tell her the truth you. or not? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, of course I didn't sneak She'll out. She'll ask my mom. she asked everybody I about love it. like, oh really? What did you do when you were young? <laughs> <laughs> oh. She put it in her back pocket. <laughs> mm -hmm. She is, right? Yes. So. So tell me then, um, what do you love about being married? Um, I like the comfort. Yeah. So like being married means that you're like always in your comfort level. Mm -hmm. Like I could be having a good day, a bad day. Like, and Edward's just like, he's my comfortable, you know? And yeah. so I like that. And whether I'm like really sad or I'm really crying or I'm having a really bad day, just knowing that he's there. And so like when you're young, right? Like, it's your mom and your dad that are your comfort. Mm -hmm. And then you find your person and then that's your comfort. And your yeah. mom and dad, like my mom and dad are still my comfort for, for lots and lots of things. Yeah. But um, Edward is a different kind of comfort. And so um, I think that's probably really good being married. Yeah. It's like it's hard to find someone you're comfortable with and it takes years yes. to build that. And you know because you've been with Andy for a long time too. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I think that would I would say that. I like that answer. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and I'd agree. It's like, it, it does take years to get comfortable with somebody fully, right? But like in a good comfortable, yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. comfortable experiencing new things with him. Yes. I don't mean comfortable like, oh, we're here. This no, is where we're that's staying. not what I'm taking. But like, yeah. you know, like, I'm like, let's try this. Let's go yes. here. Like you can be your true authentic self yeah. and know that no matter what you say or do. Yeah. I mean, he might give you side eye, yeah, but, <laughs> but he's just like, that's Ruby. That's why I love her, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, after so many years. Like you just get to know someone. And like I said, you're so comfortable that you're not even thinking what you're going to say or right. thinking what you're going to do. You mm -hmm. don't have to think about it. It's just second nature. Yes. And so that's a, that's a good thing. It's a good feeling. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. What do you think is the most challenging thing about being married? Um, growing. Yeah. Together. Because, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. we grow together, but we still are different. Yes. Individually. And that, yeah. that's a good thing. I think mm -hmm. it's good. But, you know, it's like constantly like we're growing, but it's like, let's make sure we're still, yeah, everything is still kind of there, even yes. though we're different. Um, yeah. And Edward and I have grown, obviously, like my career has changed a couple of mm -hmm. times. And so that's growth. But like I check in and I'm like, okay, you're still there. We're still good. Yeah. Um, growing as parents, because when you're young and you, me and Edward parent completely different yeah you can ask the kids like we're yeah. very different same <laughs> and I'm sure that yeah I'm sure yeah. that's the same for everybody and so I think that's challenging right because yes. as your kids grow then you see a side of your partner that you're like why are you okay with that or why are you not saying no to that yes and so it's challenging because you're not only um, overcoming that moment with your kids but you're overcoming that moment as a team yeah 
And so um, you're constantly checking in, I yeah. guess you would say, yeah. with the growth that you're overcoming as um, individuals in your marriage because you're individually growing, but you're still part of a team and you got to always check in. So that's probably, I would say, we, we, we work on that all the time, Edward yeah. and I. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I think, and I don't think that it's, it's constant. It's never going to like stop, yeah. you know, because you're always evolving as yeah. a person. So um, I, I would agree with that. I do see that you guys take a lot of time to make sure you do date nights. And I love that about y'all. <laughs> we do. You too. You too. We try, I try yeah. to, yeah. But um, honestly, I think, so Andy's like more comfortable being a homebody. Yeah. Like he, a date to him is like, watching a movie in bed and that's fine I love doing that too but I also like to like get out of the house you know I think for me um because you know when I was younger I didn't like do the club scenes I didn't yeah. go out I didn't do obviously didn't she drink. didn't lick um the bottles with your salt <laughs> I didn't, didn't do that <laughs> um uh, yeah so I I didn't do a lot of things yeah. and so the fun part for me getting married and and being able to be a wife and stuff was like, I get to do that with you. Yeah. Now, Edward did do all of South, you know, he did spring break and South oh, Pottery yeah. and all the fun stuff and going down military, <laughs> all yes. that stuff. Yeah. While I was completely While opposite. you were just waiting for a letter yeah. under the hamper. That's all I wanted. That's all I was like, nothing? Good. Dang. No. <laughs> that was my highlight. Just, Not much has changed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, but I'm like, yeah, you know, the 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 date nights are fun for me because it's still a way for me to like get dressed up Same. and yeah. you know, go act silly and you know, have fun. And so I think but yeah, Ed Edward's probably a lot like Andy. Like he would prefer to stay home yeah. or just do like dinner. And I'm always like, what else could we do? Yeah. Like, ooh, let's try something brand new. Let's yeah. go somewhere new. And it's good that he's open to those things yes. because, you know, he'll go along for the crazy ride of whatever <laughs> it is. And I'm like, oh, we should try this. <laughs> I'm always getting like, um, I'll get him to agree to go out, right? Like I'm, I, I sneak it in. I'm like, we're going to go have dinner, right? And then in the same night, I'm like, we're invited to four different places. Can we go to all four? And he's <laughs> like no <laughs> he's like pick You're one so or two popular. No, 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 I, I mean it. it's not four places it's like two things right or something like for instance we had um we had my sister's 40th birthday a couple weeks ago and then we had my christmas party that same day from work and andy had his christmas party in houston so he drove to houston went oh to the gosh. thing it was like a brunch drove to houston drove back we were going to drop the kids off by my sisters, by where they're, it's the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I was like, we can go drop them off, go downtown to my Christmas thing, go to my sister's. And he's like, I'm driving to Houston and back. <laughs> like, no. And I was like, I'll drive. And he's like, <laughs> no. So he, he always says, like, you could ever just do one thing. You always want to be go, go, go. And I'm like, I just want to milk it, you know? <laughs> yeah, you just, I'm like, I don't want to come do home. Let's yeah. just go big or go home. <laughs> that's that's, that's how it all. Yeah. <laughs> See, you would have done good on our road trip because we were, like, only supposed to go to Massachusetts. And we're like, let's do Philadelphia, Massachusetts, yeah. Nashville. Let's I do, love it. Let's uh, do everything. That's how all I, in one. I am, yeah, yeah. So we had a pre-road trip. <laughs> I love it so much. I thrive in that. Yeah. Like, if I have no plan... Oh, I hate a plan. Like if we go somewhere and there's like a strict itinerary, I'm, I'm just like, man, what if I don't feel like doing it at that time? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I just like, yeah, I go with the flow. But I did ask him one time. I was like challenging him to, I don't know, we're wives, we do these things, right? <laughs> I was like, what do you love about me? Right? <laughs> can you name? I don't know how many. Can you name five things right now that you love about me? <laughs> anyway, and he was like, one of them. He said it's that I'm very go with the flow. So I'm like, okay, I guess you don't hate it. I guess you're yeah, okay with it. I guess it. you secretly like it. Yeah. You keep him on his toes. Yes. So he's like, he's not going to tell you, but he probably really likes yeah. that. Yeah. Otherwise, he'd just be sitting at home. Yeah. I tell him, I'm like, if I never made these plans, you would just be falling asleep watching a movie yeah, yeah. every time, you know? That's good. <laughs> you're good for him. <laughs> Likewise. Okay. So we're going to play a game, right? Okay. Okay. We're going to play a game called Growing Up Mexican. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I take some water. I know. <laughs> I win. She's like, are there 11 questions? Because I'll answer 12. <laughs> you won the other one. I have to win this one. Okay. Okay. Growing up Mexican, 
Did you ever make your own limonada at a restaurant? Like you ask for the water, you ask for lemon, and you take the sweet and lower the sugar, and you're there mixing it up. No. You did it. No. If anything, I've probably done that to the sweet tea. Ah. Not the limonada. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Growing up Mexican, did the egg really ever get rid of the ojo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you do that now with your kids at all? No, I don't. No? I mean, they know what <laughs> it is. Yeah, they yeah. know what it is, but I wouldn't know how yeah. to actually do it. I mean, I have like ants and stuff that Can know you how. Imagine trying to do. Yes, <laughs> my kids. Would I mean, be but like, I believe oh. that my kids have got a hole. I just don't know. How to get I don't know. They just got to <laughs> stick it through. You know, someone gave it to them, but I don't know how to take it away. <laughs> Me either. But, but my mom's here, so sometimes she's like, "Let's do the egg." I'm like. Okay. Do you know how to do no, it? No, she'll you know, do it though. Yeah. Really? She'll do it. I'm my like, dad used to do it. Yeah. Yeah. My dad. <laughs> All I know is the, what is it? Like a uh, sana sana. Yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> but no, I don't do that. My kids would think I'm crazy if I put the egg on them. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Growing up Mexican, how many centerpieces did you have or do you currently have <laughs> in your home? <laughs> Not in my house, but my mom's house. <laughs> What did you have at your wedding? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, we had these big feather things. Yeah. <laughs> we have, so our story is slightly different mm -hmm. because my dad was in a band, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, my dad used to be in a band. And so we used to do events for, with the bands, like at Gates and weddings all the time. So like just about every weekend, our mm -hmm. fam, my mom, I mean, which is great because my mom was like, I'm going with my kids and, mm -hmm. you know, it was a family thing. But at the end of the event, you could ask any of my brothers. Like, we all have memories for my mom. As soon as the lights would come on, my mom would be like, go get that centerpiece and go get that. And so we all have memories of all the different centerpieces that my mom used. It's like the, that's the real walk of shame when you had to carry the centerpiece or out the of the event. Or the plates. Or your like, yes. Yes. All the plates uh -huh. or, you know, when you're signing life for cake and yes. you can't just get one. And no. you're like, I need three. I but, need four. And, and the pressure that you would feel because I always thought they would think I was lying and then yes. I just wanted the cake all for myself. You go back to the table you're like, see, see I told you. it was for the yeah. everybody's here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the plates, the cakes, the centerpieces. We yeah. have falling asleep on the chair like for real. Yes, for, for yes. real. Mm -hmm. oh, our kids just don't even know. Yes, they don't know. <laughs> okay, growing up Mexican. Okay. How often were you going to get a jalapeno in your mouth for misbehaving? No, I didn't get a jalapeno. No, did your no. brothers? <laughs> I was a, it was always an empty threat for me. It was probably. like, you're going to get soap or a jalapeno. Never had it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably my brothers. Yeah. Like, yeah, I might have missed that one because they got punished more than me. I was I was good. I didn't. Do... Oh, yeah. Again, no. <laughs> she, was, she was just at home. <laughs> she was just at home. No, I was like the one that would make fun of my brothers when they would get in trouble. I was uh, that sister. You know, I was you were like girl. trying to squeeze the juice too. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, oh, daddy, he did this. You know, like that was me. <laughs> so my brothers hated it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Growing up Mexican, how many years were you five years old? Because at six years old, they start to charge. <laughs> You have to ask my mom that. <laughs> I would just go with the flow. Uh -huh. I'll just go with the flow. There's, I don't know. There's a point where they think it's actually like two. It's like when they turn three and they start saying like, no, I'm three. You yeah. Know? Well, no, I'm really Mexican because I did it with the kids. <laughs> when we would yeah. go somewhere like, yeah. don't, don't. Just don't say, say anything. Yeah. yeah. And then they try to correct you because they're like, that's not even how old I am. My birthday is. Yeah. Just you're go like, with it. it. I didn't ask questions when I was little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't okay. Ask questions. Exactly. Okay. Last one. Growing up Mexican, which blanket did you have, or do you still have the dolphin, the lion, or the tiger? <laughs> tiger. <laughs> <The> tiger. <laughs> yeah. Which one did you have? I think we had a Siberian tiger, like a white tiger, is what it was. Oh, you're you had fancy. a white one with the white boots. See, it was all <laughs> so white. I'm pretty sure we had the white tiger. We also had dolphins, I think. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We had a big tiger one, and what's funny is that. Um, I have a smaller one. It's probably like a twin size one now. And I don't even know where I got it from, but it's a tiger one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so comforting. Yeah. You're like <laughs> something about the tiger. You're like sana sana. <laughs> <laughs> Just so they won't make me a hole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I have it. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Okay. 
I love those. Uh, I had more, but I was like, good. that's too many. Yeah, of those them. were good. Now I could do I could do this all day with them. I know, right? <laughs> just like, keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. Unpopular opinion. Big red is disgusting. No, you don't like big red? The smell, oh, can't really? even. Really? Yeah. I don't like it. I, if, you, oh, if you're a monster, if you like big red. <laughs> A monster. Yeah. In the, when we have barbacoa and Big Red, it should How really be. How did I be, not know that? I don't know. I probably, try, I was probably trying to be polite and never say anything <laughs> if I'm around you. Really? Y'all. But That's Andy so likes funny. it. And yeah. And then if you drink Big Red, you know that it makes you burp. And if you burp Big Red, oh, it's even more <laughs> disgusting. Well, you know what's gross? The story with Big Red for me what? that is gross. Uh huh. Um, I drink Big Red, but for a while I didn't drink. Get out. <laughs> I'm just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, that's what did it? <laughs> that, that's it. Can't do it. We're cut. <laughs> no, the, um, for a while I didn't drink Big Red when I was younger because we had gone swimming in the river one time and my cousin had drank a lot of Big Red <laughs> and then she threw up <laughs> in the river and it was like a gush of red and it was so gross. So if you think a burp smells bad, oh, I bet. <laughs> that'd be so even gross. gross. Oh. And I couldn't get out of the water quick enough. So yeah, that I didn't drink Big Red for a while. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah, I just started drinking it again. But Oof. not that I'm remembering this. You're like, <laughs> you're like, I might stop actually. <laughs> oh my God. But I didn't know you didn't drink Big Red. No, I've never liked it. I mean, I think I've had, I think I've forced myself to have like, at school they would do like Big Red floats. Mm -hmm. And so I would, yeah. Peer pressure. I would, yeah, I, would, I felt, I caved. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't, mm -mm. ever since I was little. It's hmm. just not my thing. Okay. Um, I don't, um, I don't like, uh, Tahin and Chamoy and Lucas and, um, Hot Cheetos and all that. No, you I don't never like liked any of it. Like, I'll eat. That's not an unpopular opinion. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat Hot Cheetos every now and then. Like, yeah. I've never ate, um, Thakis. I've never ate Thakis. I don't, I've never tasted them. I think I've tried them because uh, Bailey will eat them, but I don't. I, I lean for a hot Cheeto. Yeah. So I used to eat hot fries um, from Which school. Kind? Like the ones that were in the vending machine. What were they? Are they Tom's or Andy Tom's. Caps? Tom's no, are good. Were Tom's. They Andy were Tom's. Caps are trash. Yeah, I think they were Tom's, <laughs> but they remind me when I went to Dwight Middle School. Yes. Like that was my snack. That was the thing I would eat, hot yeah. fries. Um, but no, so I'm. I, a lot of people are like, how do you not eat chamoy and Lucas and yeah. all that stuff? No, I don't. I don't eat it. Do your kids like it? Arissa does, yeah. but I have to refrain her from eating it because I don't like for her to eat it because she'll get sick. Uh, so she's not allowed to eat it. Yeah. Um, but she'll sneak it in there every once in a while. Oh, but she's not. Yeah. Okay. I don't, her, I don't her let her, her, her eat yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think um, we've just been conditioned to not get sick. We eat it so much. Our stomach's yeah. like, <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i have another one so unpopular opinion pajamas are not acceptable at target they are at walmart though <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to walmart it's all right uh, yeah that's if you're going true. to target you better yeah. change your pajamas yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> i could agree with that one more than the big red i could agree with big that red. one okay yeah. we could be friends again yeah we can. <laughs> i'm invited back yes you can okay, come thanks. back you can still be the co-host okay thanks <laughs> Okay. Okay. Am I normal or am I crazy? If I ask for your advice and you tell me to do one thing, I'm definitely doing the other thing. <laughs> I think that's normal. Normal. I think yeah. just about everybody will do that. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know why we ask for someone's I opinion. Yeah. Like, what's the point? I don't know. Like, just to disagree with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it's a girl thing. Maybe, Maybe. we just like naturally want to disagree with you. <laughs> we're just looking for. Because Marissa yeah. does it when she's yeah. picking out her outfits and stuff, and I'm Same. like, she's like, which shoes? And I'm like, those. And she's like, okay. And then I'll see her wear the other one. So I think it's just like a, a girl thing. Yeah. We just want to disagree. That's that's probably so true. So we feel like I made the decision. I made not the you. decision. Yeah. You tell me what to do. <laughs> there you're like, who asked you? They're like, you asked me. You did. <laughs> but I didn't do it. Exactly. Okay. You want another one? Okay. Okay. Am I normal or am I crazy? If you need a warning before I FaceTime you. I'm unpinning you. I'm deleting your phone number. We are no longer friends. If you need a warning before I, I said it and I stand by it. <laughs> I, 
No, I mean, I'll probably look the same no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Hair in a bun. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. it won't matter. So, yeah. yeah, I would say you're not crazy. No? No. It happened once. I, I FaceTimed somebody that I'm really close to, and they uh, they were caught off guard, I guess, and they were like, uh, did you just FaceTime me? They texted me. Really? And I was like, yeah, and they were like, you didn't, that's weird, you didn't tell me, and I'm like, who? So is that like a announcing before you show up at someone's house? Well, I wouldn't that do that. I wouldn't do that. But, but I'm, I'm like, saying, is that like I, supposed to be equivalent? Maybe to know? this person. But I'm like, just don't answer if you don't want to answer. Yeah. But if I have to. No, yeah. I call people on FaceTime. Like, me too. Yeah. And I don't feel like I have to let them know. Yeah. Me either. I mean, it's me. Exactly. I was like, <laughs> you wrote me love letters. Just kidding. It's all my girlfriends, just you know. following up. <laughs> I found this letter. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just Funny. kidding. Okay, I have one more. Am okay. I normal or am I crazy? Right now on my cell phone, I have about 167 unread text messages. Um, if you ask my son, he would say you're crazy. If you <laughs> ask me, I would say you're normal. Yeah. Okay, good. If you add that to the how many tabs you have open on your phone. Oh, I never clear them. Yeah, so I don't either. And I think I've reached up to like 190 something tabs. <laughs> oh, wait, that's no? Yes. I mean, it's still I'm normal. Crazy. No, it's still normal. No, I'm crazy. But... No, I'll have like 190 something. <laughs> and so I'm just like, why is my phone running so slow? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's why. Yeah. That's actually how I know I have to go back and I'll look and I'm like, oh, 190 something. I think I have to clear them out. <laughs> So yeah, that's funny. Oh yeah. my gosh, that, I don't think I—I I don't no. even know it could do that many. Really? Yeah. Well, I thought yeah. we were on this. I know. Same Oops. page. Okay. No. Well. You're not crazy though. That's normal. You're not crazy. Maybe it's not. <laughs> You're like eh. I'm crazy. That's fine. You're like I want to be crazy. I'm just <laughs> keep going until we find a crazy one. <laughs> I know. I'm like so. Uh, what you're saying is that we're just both completely normal. Everyone else is crazy. We're normal. It's not us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So before we go, just tell everybody where they can find you on social. Okay. Um, so I'm on Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's Southern Draw page. I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm working on my website. I'm still finishing that up. So that should be very soon. So that'll make it easier for people to be able to get all of the items that I went over um, on the website. So if you're not local, I'll still ship. But yeah, the website will make it so much easier. Yeah. Um, I'm she on said Pinterest. Shipped, not shit. Ship. <laughs> I say ship. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she didn't wear Are a diaper. Are you Mexican remember? if you say <laughs> ship or ship? <laughs> or chip. <laughs> there you go. That's me. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. So that's yeah. Where you can okay. find my stuff. That Southern Draw um, on Instagram and Facebook, you said, right? Yep. Websites coming. And then events. I do all kinds of events throughout San Antonio and Seguin and Poth and Floresville. So I'm constantly doing events. And then you'll know where to find me by going on my Instagram. Yeah. I'll post where I'm going to be that month or those upcoming weeks. And then you can head out and there's, I always have new stuff. Yeah. So if you've seen me a month ago and then you see me again, stop by my booth because I'm literally drawing stuff every day and I'm always having new things to put out there. So. And if you have something that you want her to draw, she does that as well. Yes. yes. Yep. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to go Thank ahead you. and end it here. I had such a good time with you, Ruby. Thank you. Again, like I said, <laughs> a lady who knows how to laugh. <laughs> Thank All right. You. Thank, Thank you, you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>